Sports. It's in the game. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to Hockey Game History. The series where we take a look at hockey video games that have been released over the years to see if they still hold up today. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at the last AAA hockey game on the previous generation of consoles, as we have a crack at NHL 14. NHL 14 was developed by EA Canada, published by EA Sports, and was released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles between September 10th and September 13th, 2013, dependent on the region of its release. We are, of course, playing the Xbox 360 version of NHL 14 today, as I don't have a PlayStation. Now, the game's cover features future Hall of Famer and New Jersey Devils goaltender Martin Brodeur on the front, and it marked the first time since NHL 97 that a goaltender was featured on the front cover of an EA hockey game. Fun fact, Florida Panthers goalie John Van Beesbrook was the last goalie to be on the cover before Martin Brodeur for NHL 14. The game earned either an 80 or 81 out of 100 on Metacritic, dependent on the console, as well as high 7s or low 8s out of 10 from certain reviewing bodies such as Game Informer, IGN and the original PlayStation magazine. These reviews followed the trend of positive, yet slightly declining reviews that the series had seen over the past few iterations of the game. Now, NHL 14's new features included an overhauled collision physics engine, including being able to hit into goalies, an improved enforcer engine for fights, further improvements to the true performance skating engine, and a new deking system, as well as new game modes such as Live the Life to replace Be a Pro, NHL 94 edition as it was 20 years after the first game's release, and the return of the NHL Winter Classic, which was in last game, obviously. So, now that we've got that all out of the way, all the boring stuff's done, let's play the game, shall we, and see how it holds up. So, let's just press play and press play now, I think. I think that's fine by me. So, let's find a team. We've got the Rangers against the Devils at the moment. Let's randomise the team. The Winnipeg Jets, okay. Uh, four and a half stars, four and a half stars, four stars. Let's find a similar ranked team. Not the All-Stars, not the Rangers, not the All-Stars. The Calgary Flames, they're slightly worse. Pittsburgh, definitely not. The Dallas Stars. There you go. We'll play the Dallas Stars. So the Winnipeg Jets are going up against the Dallas Stars. They are four star, four star, four and a half. We are four and a half, four and a half, four star. Okay, so let's play that, shall we? So they've got... Oh, I love the Dallas Stars jerseys. The newer ones, anyway. Um, the Jets, yep. The Winnipeg Jets. Um, game settings. Skill level superstar. Period length, five minutes. Starting lineups. Let's have a look at some of the players, shall we? Andrew Ladd, of course, back when he was with the team... With Brian Little and Blake Wheeler. So two of those three players are still part of the roster. Evander Kane with Mark Scheifele and Michael Froelich. One of the players still left on that team. Uh, Eric Tangrady with Ole Jokinen and Devon Setaguchi. None of those players still part of the team. Then Matt Hallis-Chuck with Jim Slater and Chris Thorburn. Chris Thorburn, I believe, is still part of the lineup. Defensive pair, Tobias Enstrom or Toby Enstrom with Zach Bogosian. Enstrom, 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 I should say, is still there. Then Ellaby with Bufflin. Well, Bufflin's still there. Then Mark Stewart and Jacob Truba. Jacob Truba's still there. Then goaltending, we have Andre Pavlik with Al Montoya. None of them still there. Interesting. Very interesting. Then on the first line for them, they've got Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, both still there, obviously. And Alex Chason. Interesting lineup there. So, let's have a go. Let's see what happens, shall we, folks? So, I'm pretty sure it's very much the same controls to last game. I'm not expecting there to be a huge amount of changes in the actual gameplay or the control layouts from this game to NHL 13. So let's see if it plays any better. Let's see if it looks any better. Let's see if we have more fun. Because that's the most important thing. Can we have more fun with this game? So they've got Trevor Daly and Alex Goligoski with Kari Letatunin. Letatunin is still there, but I don't think he really wants to be. Or I don't think the Dallas Stars want him to be. So here we go. Let's do this. EA Sports. Gotta remember all this. Yes, and then we have... Both the team's colours. There you go. Beautiful. And here we are at the MTS Centre in Winnipeg. The Winnipeg Jets against the Dallas Stars. Oh, excuse me. There's Andre Pavlik leading his team out onto the ice. Captain Lad. The MTS Centre. There it is. 
I mean, it, look, it looks decent so far. The rest of the players, they're waiting for their chance to go out on the ice, even though they did just go out, didn't they? Here they go. Your Winnipeg Jets! Then there's Kari let a ton in, so let's see if we can make him let a ton in this game. Andre Pavlik, the backup goalie for the New York Rangers, but probably won't be after preseason. The MTS Center in Winnipeg, 15,015 capacity. Interesting that there's just an extra 15 shoved in there somewhere. If it was like 15,415, maybe. So Kari Lettinen, 181 career wins. Some with the Atlanta Thrashers, I believe. So this old team. Then Pavlik, only 91 career wins. So Lettinen has played a lot more games than Pavlik. And here we go. So here is the first face-off. So we're straight away getting ready for the face-off. It does look a little bit better than the previous game. Doesn't, of course, look that much more amazing. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Shot. Okay, good try. Jamie Benn with the puck. Poke checks are still a bit annoying by the looks of it. Carefully does it. Yep, they never really seem to go in the right place. Careful. Right, good. Bogosian. Good play, son. Blake Wheeler. Off he goes. The uh, new captain of the team, isn't he? Over. Andrew Ladd with a good chance there, but can't quite pull it off. No worries. Who's that? Oh, oh, oh. Good play. Good play. Oh, Andrew Ladd. Go and get, get Golagoski. You're part of the Islanders now, but it doesn't matter. Good play, son. Good. Look at that. Over. Blake Wheeler has a shot, but he can't quite put it in. Wow, that was a decent, decent forecheck there by the Winnipeg Jets. I like that. So the second forward line should be rolling now. Ugh, I wanted to hit him. Oh, Andrew Ladd, you are playing some great hockey at the moment, son. Good, good. Brendan Dillon, of course. He's now a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins, I want to say. Oh, my God. That was a good chance. Cody Eakin, now part of the Vegas Golden Knights, who have had a fantastic season. Ah, Nakushkin, of course, he's part of the, um, he's part of the, uh, KHL now, isn't he? With, um, CSKA Moscow, I want to say. Oh, Nakushkin with a shot and the save by Pavlik. The goaltender's pushed about a little bit. Oh, there's a bit of pushing and shoving at the end after the whistle. But I think we're all cool now. Tangredi, Jokinen, and Setaguchi as our third line. God, this line is non-existent in the league anymore. You don't see a single one of those players in the league four years later. It's interesting, isn't it, how it works? Colton Skivior. No, can I have that? Is he, he's part of the uh, uh, the Florida Panthers, isn't he? Jokinen, can we get that puck up? No, okay, I guess not. Careful, good save. Oh, no, Sean Hawkoff, you're not part of this team anymore anyway. Get off me. Right, second forward line. I'm struggling to get out of the zone here. Mark Shifley, of course, he's one of the best players in the league now. Oh, careful, Pavlik. Are you going to get that puck or not? Like, make a choice, dude. I mark Shifley. Over. Send that puck over to Michael Froley. Good. Who's now part of the Calgary Flames organization. Over. Evander Kane with the goal. The first goal of the game goes to Evander Kane on a cross-crease goal. Cross-crease one-timer gets the goal. Beautiful. Evander Kane, first goal of the game from Froley and Shifley. Look at this play. Froley sees him up there. Dink. Through it goes. Beautiful. So their second forward line against our first forward line. Let's see if we can get this done, boys. Win that face-off. Good work. The face-offs seem a lot easier nowadays, I must admit. Or no, uh, I mean in, in, in with NHL 14. Like, the previous generation of consoles, maybe it's just because I'm used to doing, like, today's face-offs. But these face-offs seem really easy. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, and low pad rebound. Oh, that was a massive rebound. If we could have got something off that, that would have been great. Dustin Bufflin slowing that down enough to Blake Wheeler, number 26, the captain. Of the Winnipeg Jets. He finds some space. Oh my god, that almost redirected in. Over. Nope, okay. Trevor Daly says no thank you. Fair dues. We've got the lead here, so we're doing alright. And that's an icing. Good, good. So, we get our second line out there again. Okay, let's keep going, boys. Shifley, good. Face-off win, son. Bogosian, good. Get past your man. Shot. Oh, went wide. So, Evander Kane. Over to throw league. Oh, he's been stopped up. Evander Kane with the puck. Back to Froelich. That nah, wasn't a good pass. Wasn't a good pass at all. No worries. Whitney. Boosh. Whitney's dead. <laughs> RIP Whitney. Right. Careful. Careful. Oh, the deke. The deke by Nakushkin. It's not really working out for him because we managed to stop the, the attempt. Van der Kane to Shifley. Shifley. Oh, that's a great pass to Froelich, though. Cut to the front. Nah, not going to happen. Tobias Enstrom, though. No worries. Oh, that's a great pass from Enstrom. Over. Oh, Tangrady was never going to get that chance on net, was he? Carefully does it, boys. Over. Oh, that was a bad play. It's going to be icing. And an icing call with a minute left 
Just under a minute. 58.1 seconds left in the first period. Okay, so there you go. Good, good. Okay, Yokonun, you've got it, son. Just find some space where you are, dude. Oh, look at those dangles. Over. Oh, my God. That almost went in again. Okay, careful. Alex Chason. Four seconds left. Nah, there's not going to be any more play here. And shot attempt. There you go. So, at the end of the first, it is a one nothing lead to the Winnipeg Jets over the Dallas Stars. So, so far, there isn't really a huge amount different, I've got to be honest. So, makes the most of opportunities. Drives to the outside when gaining the offensive zone. Be tighter defensively to open up offense. Sure thing, bud. So, four shots for us, but we're managing to win. Five hits for us. Time on attack, relatively equal. Passing's much better for us. Face-offs, we've won four to two. One time of goals, we've got one. So, yeah, this doesn't really feel a huge amount different compared to NHL 13. It might just be that the sort of little things, there's the really minor tweaks that have been made to make it feel better. It, it does feel like it flows a little bit better. The forehand, backhand stuff still doesn't work. Really don't like it, I've got to admit. Um, the hitting's all right. The, um... The AI seems a little bit better at getting in space, as you saw with our one-time across-crease goal. So maybe it's just a, a touch-up of the AI it has was sort of the main focus here. So, second period. Here we go. one nothing lead for us. The face-off seems super easy. I, I still don't know why. Okay, careful. Blake Wheeler. Round the net, son. Over. Oh, little. If you had got in space for that, I could have been a touch-in goal. Could have just tapped that into the goal, and it would have been counted. Careful, Zach Bogosian. Zach Bogosian, of course, a member of the Buffalo Sabres now. Nope. Good one, Wheeler. Oh, Shason got a good chance there. All right, careful. Careful. Over to Andrew Ladd. The only left-handed shot on this list. Careful. Low pad rebound. Oh, Blake Wheeler. How did you not get that, son? I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm hunting you down like a fox. All right, let's go. No, okay, we're just going to let him hold on to the puck there, are we? That that makes sense. Okay, we're we going to get a chance here, guys. Good hit. Good hit by Froleek. Over to Andrew Ladd. Let's go, son. Let's go. Back to Fro I wanted that to go back to Froleek. I did press the back button and then the pass button, so that kind of should have worked, but... Oh, what a forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Was that a forehand, backhand, forehand? Was that the triple D? Because you know the triple D always works. I want to see this goal again. Cody Eakins, first goal of the game. Let's see how he did it. Forehand, backhand. Oh, I was a backhand. So it's backhand, forehand, backhand. Okay, fair dues. All right, second line's out there. So the Dallas Stars are tied up the game. In fairness, we weren't playing very good defense. We couldn't get the puck out of the zone either, which wasn't good. Eric Cole, of course he played for the Stars. No. Oh, my God. That was close. And a face-off. Just keep the second line out there. I think that's the smarter thing to do. Shifley with Kane and Froleek. Because most of that line didn't actually get to come onto the ice, I'm pretty sure. Good. Face-off win, son. Over to Evander Kane, the goal scorer for the for the Jets so far. Oh, we're finding some space. Okay. Froleek. Where? No, what sort of pass was that, dude? You're, you're not getting through here, mate. You can forget about it. Right. Offside warning. Of course, because Dustin Bufflin used to be a winger. It's weird to think that Dustin Bufflin used to be a winger. You, you think he makes complete sense. Oh my god, that was a decent chance. You think, like, his size and his stature makes complete sense for him to be a defenseman. Right, over, over, over. Shifley gets the chance. He gets completely bowled out. Fair dues. Right, Evander Kane. Right, let's make a line change here, fellas. Third line out, please. Third line out. No! Good save, Pavlik. Ugh! That's not a penalty. Okay, it's only a two-minute one. That's the good thing. I thought it was fine. We've won 66% of the face-offs. So that's not too bad. And win that face-off. Good man. Right, over. Okay, that's not who I wanted to pass it to. But I guess that kind of worked. So, oh, nice. Nice play there by Blake Wheeler. Get those deeks out of the way. Over. No, that was a bad pass. The passing's not very good in this game. I have got to admit. Okay, careful. Oh, good hit. Nope, couldn't quite get there fast enough. Come on, poke check it off him. Poke checked him about three times and it doesn't do anything. Jacob Truba. Of course, they didn't have Tyler Myers in the then, did they? Okay, low pad rebound. Oh, there's just no players there to try and help out. Good. Stewart. Stewart. Okay. Weaving his way around. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay, that was an awful shot. I don't know how that managed to happen like that. Oh, players beating us out. 
Whitney, get hit. R.I.P. Whitney. Oh, to Yoken, and that would have been a lovely play, but it doesn't matter. Careful. Good. Power play is coming to an end. We've got about six minutes left in the second period. Okay, it would have been a would have been nice if that pass actually worked. Oh, careful. Evander Kane, good man. Let's go, Kane. You've got some space here, dude. Forehand, backhand. Oh, and five hole. Managed to quickly go back to the forehand. Snuck it in five hole underneath Kari Lettinen. Second goal of the game for Evander Kane, assisted by Andre Pavlik. So here you go, you see. Forehand, backhand, forehand, quick. Oh, he managed to get it back to the forehand and take the shot. There was space underneath the pad. So Evander Kane's second goal of the game makes it a 2-1 lead for the Winnipeg Jets. Okay. Roussel. Oh my god, he's dead. I think I might have just killed the Frenchie. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Over. Good pass. Jokinen to Tangrady. Here we go. Over. Oh, Setaguchi, if you've got a chance there, that would have been great. No worries, man. No worries. Okay, Jokinen, in he goes. Okay, we got it. Send the puck out that way. LB. No, who's got it? They've got it. Can't seem to get the puck off them, for goodness sake. Careful. Oh, oh, Jokinen's got it. Good. Okay, so last two minutes of the period. Oh, we've got some space here by the looks of it. Good low pad rebound. Devon Setaguchi. What a goal. Beautiful from Devon Setaguchi. A minute and 20 seconds left. 80 seconds left in the period. Low pad rebound chance. Low pad snipe. Lettinen had no chance on that one. And it's a 3-1 lead from Tangrady and Jokinen. So the second forward line gets some damage done here. Beautiful. Don't know where that centre's going. Careful. Careful. Low pad rebound again. Nope. Lettinen's not having it. Okay. Blake Wheeler. Try and pressure them on the four check. Good lads. And careful. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, good save. At the end of the second period, there you go. A 3-1 lead for the Winnipeg Jets. So, yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit more. Um, some low pad rebounds are actually working now. Great discipline. Drive to the outside when gaining the offensive zone. Have to get to the dirty areas. Take away the pass on the rush by blocking passing lanes. I will try my best game. So, 13 shots to 11 in favour of them. Hits favouring us massively. Time on attack favouring them. Passing now favouring them. Um, power plays, there's 0 for 1. We've won double the amount of face-offs. We've got a one-timer goal as well. I mean, all of those stats mean something, but we're 3-1 up in, in the game. So, that's the only thing that really matters, I would argue. Brian Little. Brian Little to wheel up. Wheeler has a chance. That's a good save by Lettinen. It's a very good save. Keep the first defensive pair out there. Why not? Jamie Ben is a plus minus of zero. Two shots on goal for the captain or the future captain. Okay, careful. Brian Little. Brian Little, good play, son. Oh, still got it. I thought you had, but all right then. Whitney, there's a penalty. There's a penalty against us. It's a two-minute penalty. What's it for this time? Cross-checking? Did I say cross-checking? I think I might have said cross-checking. So Andrew Ladd comes in. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's a bit of a dodgy play there. Interference. Okay. I can see where the ref's coming from on that one. So their last power play. Zero for one with zero shots. They didn't even get a chance to score on the power play. Let's keep it that way, shall we, boys? Ole Jokinen. Ole Jokinen. Ole Jokinen. Oh. Oh, my God. That almost went into the net. Good few chances there, actually. Good poke check. Good poke check by Michael Froelich. You notice how the players just kind of sit there. Oh, 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 had a few chances there. Sergei Gonchar, of course. Of course he played for the Dallas Stars. God, all of these names are coming back to me now, folks. Jamie Bent. Nope. Oh, that's a hit. Nope. Get that poke. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, that's a good save. It's a good save by Pavlik. You could see that's what they wanted to do. Nope. Good save, Pavlik. Oh, Sagan on the, on the rebound. Nope. Good, Stuart. Good save, son. Throw leak. Over to Little. Back to throw leak. Just to confuse them enough. Oh, good. Stop up. Good stop up there. Okay, slap shot wasn't very good, but doesn't matter. Toby Enstrom's on it. Oh, wow. That went way high. Okay, no worries. No worries. So, four forward lines out there for Winnipeg. Uh, let's get the third forward line, actually. Change for the third. Over you go, Jokinen. There you go. Oh, oh, we've got some space. Nope, can't quite split the D there. Okay, that's a good play. Eric Tangrady. Nope. Okay, maybe not. 
Hello, Shason. There you go. Cheers, bud. Guys, right, how much longer we got left in the third? We have currently 13 minutes left to play in the third. Okay, Jokinen. Over to Setaguchi. He's a goal scorer today. Okay, couldn't quite get the snipe there. Wanted to try and pick my spot there, but it wasn't going to work. No worries. Icing call. Boom, icing. First line gets back out there. So we've had a goal from Evander Kane. Sorry, Evander Kane was the second line. The Jokinen... The Oakland line was the third line, wasn't it? The Dallas Stars TM. Yeah, lots of missed opportunities here, that's for sure. Oh. So, we've had a goal from the first line. No, the, yeah, the first line, the second line, and the third line, haven't we? Who scored the goals for us again? We've had one from Evander Kane. We've had one from Devin Setaguchi. Where? Who did the other one come from? I can't remember now. I can't even remember who, the, who scored the goals for us. Like, what's going on? Oh, that's a decent attempt. Good save, Pavlik. Get that puck out. Nice. Over Blake Wheeler, over to Andrew Ladd. Low pad shot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Okay, not really finding the right way to turn, are we? Glad to see that's still an issue. Glad to see they haven't changed that problem. Okay, careful. Ellerby. Careful, Dylan. Good save. Good save. That was a bad pass. It's a 3-1 lead for us. Oh, it was Evander Kane with the second goal, wasn't it? Evander Kane scored two goals today. That's what I'm forgetting. To Thorburn. The fourth line's out here. It's, I think this is their first proper shift of the game. They could score a goal. They might get more shifts. Look at him spinning around. How did he shoot that wide? He had the net completely open on that right side. And Thorburn manages to miss that shot. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, wow. Thorburn, you want to have another go? Nah, let's get the second line out there, shall we? Maybe get a Van der Kane his hat trick. Oh, round the net, round the net. And he does it again. You literally just did the same thing again. Right, Van der Kane, even though you're a locker room cancer, let's get you a... Oh, good play. Let's get you a hat trick, shall we, a Van der Kane? Let's go, son. Final few minutes of the game coming up. Okay, circle round the net. Circle round the net. Nice one. Circle back round. Oh, good. We've still got it. We've still got it. Oh, just missed it wide. Over. Okay, I wanted that to go to Kane. Thank you very much. Wanted to get him a hat trick, but no. Hello, Shason. You're dead now. Okay, go. Pulling the away goalie. Evander Kane, let's go. There you go, Evander Kane. Woohoo! The hat trick for Evander Kane. And the Winnipeg Jets will take this game 4-1. to one. Beautiful. Throw those hats down, home fans. Hat-trick goal for Evander Kane. Beautiful. There you go. Just into the zone. Dink it in. Nice little cheeky goal. Russell, Fiddler and Garbutt there for the, um, for the Dallas Stars. No worries. I think we'll be fine here. Get a poke check. No. Ella B. Oh, I wanted to go and hit someone. Dustin Bufflin. Big buff. Okay, oh, okay, good pass to Andrew Ladd. Then over to Blake Wheeler. Shot! Fight me! Go on, then. Let's fight. Let's fight, Ryan Garbutt. Let's do this. So, dodge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How, how's he dodging all my punches? Okay, I haven't dodged a single one of his punches yet. There you go. Now we're getting into it. Okay, he hit me there. Okay, dodge that one. Nice one. Come on, hit him again. Boosh, there you go. Okay, and dodge, good, and we've taken the we've taken the momentum here. Okay, careful, dodge that, and he's down. Captain Lad gets the physical presence there. There you go. Suck it, Garbutt. You're an enforcer, and you can't even do your job right. At least I can score goals. <laughs> right, first line, first defensive pair: Kane, Little, and Wheeler. Kane's little Wheeler. 36 seconds left in the game. I think we're going to be fine here. Let's have a go. So Toby Enstrom into the zone. He's Oh, look at him. He's not wasting any time. Do you know what that was? Okay, careful. Careful. Nice pick. Okay. Go on Enstrom. Over to... Okay. I wanted that to go to Little. That would have made so much more sense. Game. But all right then. Good hit. 13 seconds left. Offside warning. Get off me. You're offside, you bums. Uh, Evander Kane, they're loving his play today with the hat trick. Even though he's a locker room cancer. Right, let's do this. 
Shifley, let's win this face-off. Shifley's come a long way in four years. Okay, careful. Final, final ten seconds of the game. Is there... Oh, wow. Gets completely rocked. One last hit for us. Start a fight. Start a fight. No, okay. And there you go. The Winnipeg Jets have won the game. Four to one over the Dallas Stars. Well done there, Winnipeg Jets. You, get, you did a good job, lads. It's exactly what we wanted. So... In terms of the actual gameplay, it's really not that much different from NHL 13. I really couldn't find those that many differences. There, there was quite a lot of similarities in the way that it played, the way that it looks. It, it, this one does... It was more the game modes that I think were more from this. That That's more the stuff you could... Oh, we won ourselves 54 pucks. Isn't that great? I'm never going to use them because you can't use online anymore. So those were the final stats in the game. Yeah, I mean, of course, this sits higher up with quite a lot of the other games that we've played so far in this series. This is definitely up the, up near the top with NHL 13. But to be honest, like, the forehand backhand is still bad. The passing's not very good. The one-timers are a little bit better. They're a little bit more consistent now. But other than that, there isn't really that much difference between 14 and 13. So they're kind of they're kinda in the same bracket, I would argue. So... If you had to pick up one, I'd probably say 14 because it's got the more up-to-date rosters and better game modes. But if you've got the choice, if you don't have the choice, then just pick up whichever one's available. Like they're not really that much different to go. Yes, you need to get the next one. It's kind of like NHL 15 to NHL 16. You know, like they really weren't that different. And kind of 16 to 17. Like the, the differences are very minute in quite a lot of these games. It's like the little things that make the gameplay that little bit more enjoyable or taking out that thing that was a little bit irritating about the last game. But yeah, I mean, it's still a solid game and it's as it's, it's good as NHL 13. I think saying that Winter Classics are a new mode is wrong because we literally played them last episode. However, or in NHL 13's episode. But yeah, so this is a decent game. Pick it up if you want to or don't if you don't is what I'd say. So yes, I am going to end this video here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, very, thank you very much for watching, guys, I should say. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have another game that you would like me to play as part of the Hockey Game History series, do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.